Sherlock, come on out. There's your microphone. Okay. Morning, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay. So I'm Charlotte, and at the start of Alpha, I'm not sure I really would have called myself a Christian, to be honest. Um, I might have done in loose terms, but probably without any real understanding of what that actually means. Um, I've always identified with being Christian because I've always believed in God, but it wasn't until Alpha that I understood it's one thing to believe, and it's another to have a relationship with God, whoever that may be to you. Believing in God without nurturing the relationship, I now realise it's like owning a car but never driving it. Instead, it sits there on your driveway, uncared for, as you carry on your life indoors. Maybe you aren't sure how to even drive it, or perhaps you just take it for a quick spin now and then, but you don't bother looking after it, um, or even peeking under the bonnet, or really using it to its full potential. That's not to say that God is just a vehicle to get you where you need to be. As one lady at my Alpha course put it a couple of weeks ago, God is behind the wheel. And being a Christian is about learning to feel safe in the passenger seat of your own life, trusting every twist, turn and gear change over to God. Having a relationship with God through Jesus means you go everywhere in that car and isn't left to gather dust on the driveway of your mind. In fact, I've heard a lot of people on the course describe their experience with God as a journey. For me, since I started um, on Alpha, my own journey has made me feel challenged. I've gone. Can you still hear me? (laughs) Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm back. It's made me feel challenged, like just then, (laughs) Um, and uncomfortable at times. This is because even though Alpha is about asking big questions about life, you realise that nobody has all the answers, not in this life anyway, and that nobody really knows the destination because it's different for us all. I found comfort in the fact that God guides us and that we are all here to contribute in some way to this earth. As someone who struggles constantly with questions of what am I meant to be doing with my life, it is comforting to know that if I try pushing a door and it won't open, I should just keep trying new doors until I find the one that God wants me to go through. That's a great tip from Reverend Graham Watts. (laughs) The idea of free will amongst men and women is a question which has cropped up constantly for me at Alpha. The news seems to be full of frightening and shocking stories which can make the world and sometimes the people in it seem really scary. David, who leads my particular group, helped me understand this when he relayed to us a cartoon he once saw. A man surveys the world and seeing the pain and suffering, he turns to God, the creator of all things, and asks, why have you let this happen? But God turns to the man and says, I was about to ask you the same thing. This helped me see that as men and women, we have a gift from God, free will. It's up to us how we use it. When something happens that challenges this, as it inevitably does, I choose to see these events not as evidence of a cruel God, just that sometimes we cannot understand, but we can still trust. Alpha's also taught me a lot about prayer, which is something I remember doing whilst kneeling at the edge of my bed as a child, though never really sure if I was doing it right. I see now there is no right or wrong way to pray. It's helped me identify the coincidences in my own life as answers to my silent prayers start to show themselves to me. Of course, they are not all answered, (laughs) but I see now that there's always a reason why. I just may not know what it is. Prayer has helped me to think outside of my own desires and wonder what the people around me, my family, my friends, my colleagues, and people I've never and probably people I never and probably never will meet need in this life, and how through both prayer and my own actions, I can try to make a difference. Alpha's given me the confidence to invest in and investigate what is a new phenomenon for me, a relationship with God through Jesus. It's helped me to make sense of the nonsensical and has taught me things about myself, the human race and the world. This is in no small part thanks to the wonderful community who make Alpha possible. 
turning up week after week to guide the rest of us, to share stories, to cook as beautiful meals, to listen and to laugh with us. I know I have some lessons ahead, learning about God through the Bible being one of them, but I'm excited to see where the journey leads. I'd like to say to anyone who has a tiny seed in their mind, wondering if they might one day come to Alpha and see what it's all about, my advice is just do it. You've got nothing to lose and you've got everything to gain. So come along and just allow the seed to grow. Perhaps you feel something and you aren't really sure what it is, but you readily make excuses why you can't engage with it. You need that bit more evidence, that bit more convincing. Well, I encourage you to challenge yourself as I did. As St Ansel of Canterbury once said, I do not seek to understand in order that I may believe, but I believe in order to understand. Thank you. Uh, Charlotte, Charlotte. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. Dave, why don't you come oh. and pray for Charlotte and for the rest of the Alpha people? Charlotte, you are so brave. It's this quite is probably the first time scary, you've been... aren't they, when you look at them from They're here? Friendly. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the first time, the last time you've been prayed for by Santa. So. <laughs> <laughs> We were laughing because Sam and Charlotte got married here in September. So the last time Charlotte was standing here with me, yeah. Sam was here as well, and we were saying slightly different words. But anyway, <laughs> let's pray for you now. Father, thank you so much for the journey that Charlotte is on, that Sam is on, and that you um, have lying ahead for them. We pray that you will continue to reveal yourself as one who is trustworthy and full of love. And we thank you for Charlotte's story and for her courage in sharing it with us today. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.